Now, what you need to do is stir that until it's about the consistency of a cloud. I'm pleased to announce NASA's new space program, which will send a family of rats. Yes, Veronica, it's true. Your ex-husband is still alive and living in Cairo. Today marks the 50th anniversary of the death of Leslie Chow. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in this special program as we take a look into the life of one of the most evil and ruthless dictators of all time. As a child, uh, Leslie Chow was constantly bullied and considered a so social outcast because he was unable to fit in with the others. And this is most likely what drove his insane lust for power. Man, I'm not even gonna guard you. Let's see what you got. In 1995, the United States and North Korea entered a devastating nuclear war. In May of 1996, North Korea launched missiles at California, causing a small part of California to break off into the Pacific Ocean, forming an island. This island later became known as Nestle Czech. When the war ended in 2000, North Korea colonized uh, Nestle Czech and took it away from America. Kim Jong-il appointed Shi Wu Sun to take control and govern this new colony. At this time, North Korea was going through a drought, and the only reason they colonized Nestle Czech was so they could strip it from all of its natural resources and they really didn't care about what would happen to all the people. Oh. Go look for anything you can. Go get that water. Let's go. <laughs> In 2008, Leslie Chow started the revolution against the tyrannical North Koreans. Here we are in the former presidential palace of Nesicek. In May 2010, Leslie Chow and his rebel soldiers stormed his palace and won the war for Nesicek's independence from North Korea. Kim Jong Un to kill free. Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon. Drop your gun. Drop your weapon. <laughs> Two can play at this game, son. Drop your weapon. I don't want any more bloodshed. All right. Drop your weapon. Drop the gun. All right. My best fighter. Yes, yours. That way, no more bloodshed. And if my best fighter wins, you know, create scumbags.
so you know the deal. My fighter, fellow, beat yours. You North Korean scumbags have to get out now. It's over. Get out! After Leslie Chow won independence for Nesacek, he became the absolute ruler with Philip Boland as his head of military. Here we are in one of many former concentration camps. In these camps, Leslie Chow was present to kidnap Koreans and political opponents. Leslie Chow used Koreans as scapegoats to all the During these concentration camps, uh, scientists performed experiments on Koreans to synthesize the new element of the costed the lives of approximately 6 million Koreans and approximately 200 of Leslie Chow's political opponents. Shut up! Why are you guys doing this to me? Stop! You guys are going to pay for this one day. Why are you guys doing this? Why? Shut up! What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Put your head down. What are you guys doing? I'm going to kill you. Why are you guys doing this to me? I didn't do anything wrong. This won't take long. Just like Joseph Stalin, Leslie Chow betrayed his political allies after gaining power. El Chapo was one of these political allies. So, El Chapo, I hear you tried to leak my secret information on what I was going to do with the Korean population out to a journalist by the name of Louise Jenkins. Well, Louise! Shut up! I'm still gonna kill your family. You're still gonna die. No, no, yes, 
In 2020, Leslie Chow's head of military found out about his leader's crime against humanity and finally decided to take action and assassinate his leader. I need you to look at these files, Randy. I know everything. What? El Chapo, the concentration camps, how you discovered the Unobtainium. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. What? H how? I leaked it out to the media. And the American army is on its way right now. See, so leak my secret information out. And we're being invaded by the Americans right now, huh? That's right. And you're the head of military. Order the Nesachekian military to fight back. I demanded them to stand down. Why? You're not you're gonna just you're just gonna let us get invaded by America. Yep, I grew up here in Nesachek when it was still part of California. And I'd love for it to become part of America again. Okay. Proud American. You guys always have to get involved in everything that doesn't concern you. I made a deal with the Americans, and they need you no, out no, of the no, way. Please, dude, please, I'm gonna put stop. you out of the way. We were friends. Oh. Uh, today we have a very special guest, uh, Philip Bolin, the hero who assassinated Leslie Chow and allowed America to regain Nazi Czech. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Eighty years old. That's still in top shape, man. How do you do it? Work out. I lift. So uh, tell us, what did it feel like working for this psychotic Leslie chap? Well, you know, I worked with him for a while. And at first, I thought he was a good guy. Like, I helped him gain independence for Nestle check. Mm -hmm. But then, he started going a bit crazy. So, I had to act like I admired him. But... Deep inside, I was afraid he would kill me or something, yeah. so, and I had a deep hatred for him. I see. How long did you work for him? Basically, the whole time he was in power, about 10 years. 10 years, I see. Uh, anyone actually admired Leslie Chow? Well, like I said, like, inside they were scared of him because they didn't want him to kill them, but on the outside, they had to act like they admired him. I see. And I was just wondering, uh, what was it like battling Chi Wu Sun's right hand man? Well, he was an honorable fighter. He put up a tough fight, but in the end, he didn't stand a match for these guns. I appreciate you coming here, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on the show. All right, you, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from the man himself, Philip Bowling. This concludes our special look into the rise and fall of Leslie Chow. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us in this presentation. And uh, see you next week, Thursday night, right after Vampire Diaries. Peace out. Skinny Town, population, you.